Memorial service was held today for University of Arizona professor Dr. Thomas Meixner. Tomorrow will mark two years since the head of the hydrology department and atmospheric sciences was shot and killed on campus. The service at the Newman Center highlighted Dr. Meixner's service to others. His widow Kathleen thanked his colleagues who came to his aid that day and the first responders on scene. 13 News spoke with Kathleen who settled with the University of Arizona over his death. She says the settlement includes conditions calling for improvements in campus safety and security. Now, two years later, students who were on campus at the time of the shooting are reflecting on the campus's security measures, especially after another deadly shooting on the U of A campus just weeks ago. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda joining us live in studio. And Emily, you spoke with students about any changes they've seen in safety since the shooting. What do they have to say? Well, Dan and Mary, many of the upperclassmen that were on campus two years ago say nothing has really changed based on what they've seen. And given the shooting that happened about a week ago, it's less than reassuring. In 2022, tragedy rocked the University of Arizona campus when hydrology professor Thomas Meixner was shot to death by a former student on campus. Two years later, one senior still remembers that day. I never interacted with this professor, but I knew people who had and I knew people who were in the building when this was going on. It's just terrifying to know that like it could have happened anywhere and it happened so close to where you could have been. But since that shooting, many students say they haven't seen a major change to safety on campus. Obviously they preached their message safety as a um, try to improve. I appreciate them looking out on the streets and everything like that and patrolling the cars, but honestly with the people on campus, I think it's maintained the same and same level of concern too. With a recent shooting on campus that killed a Pima Community College student and a series of crimes happening near campus, many students say there's not enough being done. But what I'm physically feeling when I'm walking around campus, I still feel apprehensive. I still feel like I, I don't feel a difference um, as a student safety wise. All I see are these announcements being emailed to me. Um, and that's the extent of it. Others saying after a crime does occur, things on campus continue on like nothing happened. Class resumed the same. Obviously, we talked about it. We had our little conversation, but honestly, class has been the same and um, life has been the same before and life uh, after the shooting has been the same. Students understand that safety is a complex issue to address, but say seeing even a few more officers around campus would be helpful. Actually being on campus throughout the night and throughout the day as well, I think that will look for more concern and more, uh, more people to speak out about the safety and have more eyes watching um, around campus. Now, while that's the sentiment from the students we spoke with, Kathleen Meixer tells us she has noticed improvements in the two years since her husband's death. She specifically points to better communication with law enforcement as a noticeable improvement. Reporting in studio, Emily Miranda, 13 News.